Hey everybody, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Netflix's newest film, The Lovebirds. So The Lovebirds is rated R. It is a rom-com. It is an hour and 27 minutes long. It stars Issa Rae and Kumar Nagiani. Did I say that right? Because I know I'm horrible with names, but I feel pretty confident about that. I'm pretty confident about 100%. And it was released on Netflix on May 22nd. So The Lovebirds was supposed to have a theatrical release, but given everything that's been going on it was released on netflix i gotta say i wasn't disappointed i feel like this movie has been getting kind of uh, with it it's not great by any means but it's also not terrible like in the wrong missy standpoint because i want to just stay away from that have a review of that you can go check it out after this you know, yeah no netflix this year i don't know i guess they just put out all their great movies in 2019 because like 2020 has not been killing it like 2019 did film wise and just year wise generally speaking the lovebirds was a very good time it, i feel like this is a great like date movie this is a great just kind of like making it a girls night type of movie if this had came out in theaters though i don't think i would have recommended for you to see it in theater like i would recommend the movie but i would say wait for it to come out on netflix wait for it to come on redbox like it's good but i don't think it's worth spending your money at the theater good so it's actually perfect timing where you could just like just continue to chill on your couch you know and 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 watch the movie if you enjoyed date night or or even game night i feel like you're going to enjoy the lovebirds these other two movies were like they're up here for me and lovebirds is just you know just right underneath it i'm not keep moving it down it's not quite on their level but i still laughed and the only reason i don't feel like it's right up there it's just because it kind of lost me in the middle portion of the film it kind of had like a really slow middle deal that i was that i actually grabbed my phone so that's never a good sign when when you know one grabs your phone in the middle of a movie these two characters are actually about to break up well they technically do break up in the midst of their breakup bicycle runs into them then mustache comes around and pretends to be a cop runs bicycle over this i would be glasses and no joke, if I was in that same situation, that would so be me. I would be like, yeah, bicycle, must, yeah. So after Mustache pretends to be a cop to run down Bicycle and uses their car to kill him, which is all in the trailers, you guys, it's not a spoiler. Here comes the damn hipsters and it's like, oh my God, you know, you guys killed them. And of course, it's, uh, it's all like, um, yeah, we, we gotta go. The story, what really happened is so far-fetched, the cops are not going to believe us. Cause like, look at us, like they're gonna say guilty. So they take off running cause they're gonna try to clear their name. I had a lot of really good laughs with the movie. Most of them were at the beginning of the film. Again, it does lose you somewhere around the middle and it kind of picks up there at the end. Overall, I feel like it is worth the watch, especially since it is on Netflix. It's free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate it a medium-sized popcorn. And if you've seen The Lovebirds on Netflix, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys right here because we can go to theaters. Bye. <laughs>